Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I'm uh, probably going to leave that in. I had a little bit of trouble with the uh, getting the record thing to go away from my airplay. And uh, I thought, you know what? This is music that's, I think, uh, unique to this game. Let's just uh, let it play for a little bit. <laughs> so, anyway, on to the game. Another corrupted painting has been discovered, and Tyro and his companions venture into the Nalbana Fortress record. There they are reunited with Vaughn and Balthier, who are imprisoned in the dungeons beneath the fortress. And we have no equipment. Ilara. This is the only place where I still sense a strong magical presence. This must be the last corrupted painting on the island. Wedge. Bah! Ilara. Huh? Wedge. I had something I was supposed to give Shadowsmith. It completely slipped my mind. Biggs. Don't scare me like that. All that shouting for nothing. Wedge. My bad. Biggs. Wait. You idiot! How could you forget something that important? Wedge. It's not my fault. It was my first time in a corrupted painting and I had my hands full. Sid. Hey, quit squabbling. Bissoon. Quah. Biggs. Grr. I don't have to answer to you, Chocobo. Bissoon. Quah. Amaram. There it is, the corrupted painting. Wedge. I'm going in. Biggs. Hey, wait! Sid. It didn't take them long to change their tune. Amiron. I wish I was like that. I tend to overthink things. Ilara. I think it's good that you take things seriously, Amiron. Amiron. Thanks, Ilara. Well, I guess we'd better head after them. Ilara. Yeah. Vaughn. I brought you some of those flowers you like. Galbano lilies. Remember? You always said how they smelled nice, and how pretty they were. Remember? The king... Did you? Were you really a part of it? Even if... Even if you were... Captain Bosch must have tricked you into it. sequence. That's what that was. Balthier, you're awake. Vaughn, where are we? Balthier, prison. Where else? More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. Vaughn, Almeron and Alara, what are you doing here? Balthier, it seems the Imperials caught them after we parted ways. I guess they were a little young to fend for themselves. Amaran, sorry to let you down after you went to all that trouble trying to free us, Vaughn. Well, it doesn't matter now. I'm just glad you're all right. Balthier, these two have been apparently looking for after them. Wedge, uh, yeah, that's right. We looked after them. Biggs, yep, we sure did. Vaughn, you old guys helped them? Thanks. Biggs. Old guys? Elmeron. That's just how Vaughn talks. Wedge. Don't do anything stupid, Biggs. Vaughn. How? Whoa! Ilara. Eek! Balthier. Relax. It's just a corpse. Jump at every little thing down here and you'll wear yourself out. 
Wedge. But it's a dead body. I don't like dungeons with dead things lying around. Balthier. It's not even a proper dungeon. They just sealed off the bottom level of the fortress. What accent is my voice turning into? I'm not good at accents anyway. Goodness. Still Balthier. Take a look around. We're not the first they've thrown down here. Biggs. I think I'll pass. Vaughn. Where's Fran? Balthier. She's off trying to find us a way out. Remember what curiosity killed. Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save my strength if I were you. Almira. I'm going to check things out. Ilara. Wait, Almeron, I'll come with you. Balthier. You young bloods sure are full of energy. What are you two planning on doing? Biggs. Us? Well. Wedge. I'm sticking with you, Balthier. I know this place. Vaughn, watch out! Vaughn, no, don't! He was defenseless. I'm Aaron. Uh oh, run, Alara. Elara, Almeron, Vaughn! Vaughn, oof! Almeron, we're trapped! Vaughn, get behind me, Almeron! Maron. But Vaughn? Vaughn. Now! Both here. Something stinks in here, alright. I've changed my mind. This is no dungeon, it's a sty. I said you're the one that stinks, Hamshanks. Hear me now? You two, alright. Ilara, phew, I'm glad you're both okay. Elmeron, you went and got Balthier. Good work, Ilara. Biggs, hey, what about me and Wedge? Wedge, yeah, don't forget about us. Balthier, I guess it's time for you to step up then. Biggs, huh? Wedge, what? You mean, Biggs, you mean go up against those guys? Wedge. Seriously? Balthier. Do you propose we have Elara take on these filthy creatures instead? Not that not that I can do anything but auto battle, honestly. I guess I could try directing my attacks.
It is good music. Tyro and the others prevail over Daguza in the dungeons, but find their escape route cut off by Imperial soldiers attracted by the commotion. Together, they try to make a break for it. here. Great, they just don't give up, do they? Now is looking like a good time for us to leave. Fran. Through the Obliette, there's a way out. Only. Balthier. Only you sense the mist. Balthier. Then we'll need weapons. Imperial. What did you call me? Say that again! Mysterious Bonga. What? You couldn't hear? I merely said that the lot of you are incompetent fools. If you've the Sky Pirate in your hands, where is he? Ilara. Sky Pirate? Does he mean... Almeron. Yeah, he's the bounty hunter on Balthier's trail. Imperial. You'd have done better, Begomnen. By your own words, it was the Imperial Army who caught this Sky Pirate of yours. We've done your job for you. We don't require the assistance of filthy headhunters. The Empire will restore order here. Begomnen. Eh? What's that you say now? Maybe I'll wet my blade on you. Before I kill Balthier. Ilara. Such cruel words. Elmeron. And he has three savage underlings. They're a dangerous bunch. That's enough, Bagamnon. Says a voice. <sighs> oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Fran, a judge. Thon, judge? Balthier, you don't know of them? The self-proclaimed guardians of law and order in Arcadia. They're the elite guard of House Solidor. Which effectively makes them the commanders of the Imperial Army. If you ask me, they're more executioners than judges. Not a friendly lot, at any rate. What are they doing here? Biggs. We've got your back, Balthier. These judges will be a pushover. Wedge. Piece of cake. <laughs> I'm glad we have you on our side, or I don't know about that. I'm not sure which one I want to go with. Well, we'll go with the top one. Biggs. Just leave it to us. Ha ha ha. Wedge. Hey, that judge is saying something. Judge. The Emperor is willing to overlook race for his more talented servants. However, those that do not show respect will receive none in kind. Begamnon. Your Honor. Judge. You travel freely through our lands because the Emperor wills it. Am I correct? Lara. I think I've heard that judge's voice before, Almeron. Almeron, yes, we've met them before. Ilara, really? Judge, where is the captain? Imperial, we have him in solitary, Your Honor. We are ready to begin our inter interrogation. Judge, this does not concern you, bounty hunter. Begamnon. He's in here somewhere. Find him. Balthier. Time for the hare to follow the fox. Vaughn. Huh? 
Fran. The magics binding the door to the Obliette are quite strong. Too strong, even for my talents. Balthier. That's why we'll get them to open it for us. Vaughn. How is going deeper into this place? Balthier. What's wrong? You don't trust her? Vieira's noses are sharp. If she says there's a way out, there's a way out. I think normally there would be a treasure chest in, in here where you get your equipment back in the game. I already picked it up. And in this game, we get our equipment kind of automatically. Or maybe not. Amira. What is it, Fran? Fran. Look. Balthier. Ah, the prison repository of rusted relics and raiments. Thon. So our things are in here? Balthier. That's what I said. You recover your lost items and equipment. Okay, so I guess that was just a plot point instead of a treasure chest thing. Maybe there was also a treasure chest. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I actually went through this story bit. Balthier. There are more turnkeys than cut purses down here. I've had my fill of chains. Let's tread lightly, shall we? In the actual Final Fantasy XII, this is where you grind. You kill everybody. Everybody. In, uh, in this case, mm, we'll try to be sneaky as much as the game lets us. Ah, we're spotted. This game has a bad habit of quitting on me right when I'm getting into a fight. <clears throat> only in the record dungeons and only while recording, interestingly. I, I was playing all morning and had no trouble in uh, regular game mode. Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak past the blind guard. Here we go again. time there are three of them. I'm gonna actually use abilities now. Not all of the abilities, some of them. Okay, that was cool. Final fight. Finish them. Yay, done and complete. So 
So this one is... The door to the judge record stands open. The struggle begins as these figures that strike fear throughout... Against these figures that strike fear throughout the evilies. Okay, so I just fight some judges. But I don't think it's story related. And I think that's what happens when you say, tell Biggs and Wedge that you're glad they're on your side. The other option, I think, is like, doesn't open this up. Anyway, let's skip that for now. Hoping to escape from the dungeons, Tyro and his companions search for the way out sensed by Fran. As they follow Judge Gabronth deeper within, the party finds itself in the Obliette. Hmm. Sure, why not? Judge, you have grown very thin, Bosch. Less than a shadow, less than a man. Sentenced to death, and yet you live. Why? To silence Ondor? How many times must I say it? Or no, is that what Bosch said? Oh, shoot, I, was mis I wasn't looking. Judge, is that all? Why not ask Vane himself? Is, is this because they're, they're twins and so the voices are the same and Ilara and Elmeron don't know the difference? Why he keeps saying Judge, even though Bosch is obviously the one speaking here? It's gotta be one of the ones speaking here. Anyway. Judge, we've cut the leader of the insurgents. She is being brought from Rabinaster. The woman Amalia. Who could that be? Such a faithful hound clings so to a fallen kingdom. Bosh, better than throwing it away. Judge, throwing it away as you threw away our homeland? Bosh, who's there? Balthier, this the place? Fran, the mist is flowing through this room. It must be going somewhere. Bosh, you, you're no Imperials. Please, you must get me out. Well, if it isn't Almeron and Alara. Balthier, you know each other. Amiron, yes. Bosh, it's good to see you still in one piece. Can you help me? Balthier, it's against my policy to speak with the dead. Especially when they happen to be Kingslayers. Bosh, I did not kill him. Ilara, a bold claim. Balthier, it matters not. Bosh, please get me out for the sake of Dalmasca. Thon, Dalmasca? What do you care about Dalmasca? Everything that's happened is because of you. Everyone that's died, every single one. Biggs, Thon, calm down. Wedge, no need to yell like that. Thon, hold your tongue. Even my brother. You killed my brother. Balthier, quiet. The guards will hear. Fran, I'm dropping it. Balthier, pirates without a sky. Balthier, spare us your quiddities. Vaughn, yeah, but, but he's a... Balthier, a traitor, I know. Stay here and fight if you want. If you can walk, let's go. Vaughn, you're taking him with us? Ilara, I don't want him with us either. Balthier, my, how far you've fallen. Even the girl wants you gone. Bosh, I can still serve a purpose. Balthier, 
You're right, as a shield for us, if nothing else. Bosh. Very well. Ilara, after what he did to Rex, why don't you speak up, Elmeron? Elmeron, you've got it wrong, Ilara. Ilara, how so? Biggs, that Bosch guy is hated by everyone here, isn't he? He slew the one he was sworn to protect. Elmeron, that's just how things appear on the surface. Bosch is about to reveal what really happened. Wedge, what really happened? Amiron. Yes, Bosch actually. Ah. Ilara. What's wrong, Elmeron? Elmeron. Is there a chance? No, I'm overthinking this. Vaughn. Hey, you lot! Balthier wants to see you right now. Wedge. Coming. Biggs. This can wait until later. We'd better head over. Gotta go push buttons. Nothing happens. It doesn't seem to be powered. Burrow. Don't get many visitors down here. Come scavenging for odds and ends, have you? I don't reckon you saw whatever caused that terrible racket just now, eh? Hmm. Come crashing down straight on the stairs? That was the only way out. Guess it's time to start looking for a back door out of this place. Vaughn. Huh. Guess it's not working. Balthier. Let's have a look. Hmm. The fuse is blown. That would explain why there's no power reaching at the switch. If the wiring is any indication, I'd say this is a central power relay of some sort. As it stands, I doubt we'll find much still running down here. Burrow. What's that? No power in the passage, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. Tunnels as old as these. This game ain't, workin ain't a working one either. Here we go. Try putting this in that contraption up there, up the stairs. You obtain a tube fuse. Burrow. Made that tube fuse from parts I found down in these very tunnels. It's good as any you'll find, and better than most, mark my words. Burrow. I see you got the gate open. Ought to be able to look for all manner of ways out now. Yeah, we oughta. Shoot. Both here. I've heard of these. Mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. Let them get too close to one of those conduits, and they'll suck it dry. And if that happens, it's lights out. And it's worse in the dark. Much worse. But don't worry. It'll give the energy back, if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking.
where to next? Ah, there's another Mimic. Darn you, Mimic. Take this. Do we have to fight the Mimic Queen then? Probably in the next one. Probably in the next story bit. Not this but not this one. This will probably just be getting through the tunnels. And also Bosch's story. Maybe. I don't remember exactly how this goes. But it's still early enough in the game that I, I've played through this bit a fair number of times. Um, Companions make their way down the Barheim Passage along with Vaughn, Balthier, and Fran, as well as Bosch, who, was, who had been caged within the Obliette. Hmm. Huh. Can't bring Alara. Interesting. Maybe because Balthier's here and doesn't want to let the girl child fight? I don't know. It's weird. Fran. The mist seethes. Balthier. It reeks. Something's close. Nice moves there, Captain. Vaughn. You mean traitor. Balthier. So they say. But I didn't see him kill anyone. Vaughn. My brother did. Bosh. Rex. He said he had a brother two years younger. I see. He meant you. Your brother. What became... Vaughn. He's dead. Bosh. I'm sorry. Vaughn. It was you who killed him! Wedge. Cool it, Vaughn. Let's hear him out first. Biggs. Can you tell us what happened, Bosh? Bosh. Of course. He deserves to hear the truth. Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? Bosh, his majesty was a traitor. Balthier, a twin brother. Fancy that. But still... The pieces fit. I'll give you that much. And he did look like you. Biggs. So the king was killed by someone impersonating Bosch? Amaron. An imposter. Vaughn. I don't believe you. Ilara. I have to admit, something did seem different about Bosch back then. Vaughn. Back then? What's that supposed to mean? Bosch. Almeron and Alara fought alongside Rex as, and I as Knight's Apprentices. Almeron. Sorry we didn't mention that. Alara. We were there when Rex was struck down. I recognized the voice of that judge when we, earlier, we saw earlier, but couldn't place it. Almeron. I didn't hear Dr. Mog's voice when he attacked Shadowsmith. Alara. 
Now that I've heard Bosch's side of things, I'm sure that judge was the one who attacked Rex. I'm sorry. When I think back, Bosch was behaving strangely at the time. Bosch, I can see how you'd be confused. Elmira. Dr. Mog was acting strange that day. I wonder. Bosch. Even so, it is my fault Rex got tangled up in all of this. I am sorry. Vaughn. My brother. He trusted you. He trusted you and he lost everything. How can I believe you? Bosch. Not me, then. Believe in your brother. He was a fine soldier. He fought to the last to protect his homeland. No, surely he fought to protect his brother. Vaughn, you don't know anything. Balthier, believe what you want to, whatever it takes to make you happy. What's done is done. Should probably save a fair number of the better stuff for later. But there's some multi target stuff like that flame attack. I'll use those on the randos. The fights have been getting harder. Even for my slightly over leveled party at this point. There is still more leveling for me to do. I, I have not finished the second chapter yet. The second chapter, the second part, the canon. Bunch of mimics. And a giant mimic. When the battery gets low, it'll start using a powerful attack. Good to know. Steal its power. And then break everybody. got that top one. No, we'll do that. We'll let both here finish off that top one. 60% battery level. Back up to 70. Oh! I'll take it. There we go. Not too bad. 
wasn't in any real danger that time. Oh, we're out. Biggs, it looks like we're back. Wedge, I hope Vaughn and Bosch make peace with each other. Biggs, yeah. Elmeron, the painting isn't corrupted anymore. Delara, thank heavens. Bassoon, gwe, gwe. Delara, you're thanking us for our efforts? That's kind of you, Pasoon. Oh, isn't Sid with you, Pasoon? Pasoon, gwe. Elmeron, perhaps the Dr. Mog that attacked Shadowsmith. Delara, something on your mind, Elmeron? Elmeron, say, Ilara, the last time we saw Dr. Mog. Wedge, ah! Biggs, I told you to stop shouting like that! Wedge, I have to deliver the plans! Ilara, plans? Wedge, the Royal Arcanium is trying to communicate with a creature sealed away inside some magicite. Elmeron, what creature? Biggs, you imbecile, Wedge! You're spilling all our secrets! Wedge. Oh, whoops. Almeron. Tell us more. Biggs. No way. We can't go sharing confidential information with outsiders. Wedge. Yeah. Wouldn't want to show you the plans for the magic item I designed. Biggs. Didn't you hear me? Stop blabbing all the details. Wedge. Gah. Sorry. Almeron. Is Shadowsmith in charge of the project? Biggs. Yeah. Why? Ilara, that makes sense. He is considered the Royal Arcanium's top mind. Biggs, uh. Ilara, I think Shadowsmith's research would be a good opportunity for us to all learn. Biggs, you have a point there. Wedge, but won't we get in trouble for showing them? Ilara, I really want to see the magic item you're working on, Wedge. I'm sure it's a marvelous design. Wedge. Well, I did put a lot of work into it. Giving them a little peek wouldn't hurt, would it, Biggs? Biggs. I guess not. Okay, just this once. You'd better make the most of it. Elmeron. Well played, Alara. Wedge. Here it is. Elmeron. What on earth is that? Ilara. The hood, it's... Biggs, what's the big deal? Wedge, they're speechless after seeing my talent on display. Elmeron, did you really come up with this, Wedge? Wedge, hey, give me some credit. It's based on Shadowsmith's instructions, but the ideas are all mine. Elmeron, so what's the hood all about, then? Sid. Ah, oh, you're back. Elmeron. Sid. Sid. I got an urgent message from Shadowsmith. Biggs. What did the special director have to say? Sid. Apparently, Dr. Mog showed up on an island he was visiting. Reaching the Truth, Chapter 6. That's where we will be next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you then. Bye.